What's up? What's good? What's going on, family? Let's jump in. And I actually want to get a direct message about a particular person in your life. All right. So this is going to be a direct message about the person affected by this particular zodiac sign. This could be in their sun, moon, rising, north node, Venus, as well as their, you know, it could just any their sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Let's just stick it there. But this is for my Sagittarian ninth house collective. Okay, this could be pertaining to an an Aries, a Leo, a Capricorn, or a Libra. We have Aries, Leo, Capricorn, Libra. All right, spirit, what is going on? What does Sagittarius need to know? about this person in their life and um, we have mirror so i feel like that the two of you all are mirroring each other um yeah these both both of these speak about doing some sort of introspection self-reflection um i feel like that the two of you all are doing this at this time the two of you all are mirroring back to one another what you're not facing so whatever this person is doing that is egging your nerves, it is something that is reflecting back to you. But I do feel like that there is a conversation that this person is avoiding having with you. Okay. I do feel like that this person could be interested in speaking or talking with you. One more from here, please. Ace of Swords. So I definitely feel like that there's been some truth. I've spoken some truth. I've definitely hit home on the subject we're going to be speaking on. Um, I definitely feel like that someone wants to be, um, someone wants to speak some sort of truth about getting back out there. I, with the heartbreak card coming out, I f yeah, I feel like that this person was getting back out there. I feel like this person misses you. But I feel like that this person was not ready to be up. Somebody wasn't ready, honey. And it could, with this mirror card coming out, to be honest with you, it could be a y'all thing. It could be both of y'all and not just, oh, like, uh-oh, what's that? Yeah, there was healing that needed to take place um, that no one had done quite yet. Let's see. I don't like this new tablecloth, which is why I ain't showing y'all the tape. It's ain't working. So I don't know, y'all. Anywho, let's see what's going on. I want to see the conversation that is being avoided. Thank you. Confessions. Confessions. What is the conversation that is being avoided? Yeah, someone has to confess some sort of dishonest. That someone was dishonest about their availability. I'm going to tell you that right now. Someone wasn't over. Someone wasn't available to start something new. But I do feel like that they still invested inside of this. Yeah, this person was still exhausted and depleted from a previous situation here. Something about the letter E is standing out. Yeah. This person is becoming more and more aware at how they like were really apprehensive about taking this connection deeper. How does this person truly feel about Sagittarius? How does this person view Sagittarius? What is this person's thoughts as it pertains to Sag? What is motivating this person? And what is the next likely, like what is, where is, what is the next thing that Sag needs to know about this person? 
in the way that they will be interfering with Sagittarius, okay? Mm. Oh my. Oh my. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. This person, um, the next, like, the next thing that you need to know about this person is there is stagnant energy that is, can you see that? There is stagnant energy that is still attached to this situation that is the hangman there, okay? But how this person feels about you, they definitely feel the four wands. Um, they feel that they're, they feel a strong connection to you. They feel very connected to you here with the four of wands they view you as the empress they do view you as some sort of divine feminine counterpart energy their thoughts as it pertains to you is they want to make some sort of offer my concern with them viewing you as the empress and their thoughts being the knight of cups this is very fantasy unrealistic um thoughts that they're having when it pertains to you and it all makes sense because what is motivating this person is they're heartbroken right now. I'm going to do some clarifying to see if this is a heartbreak from you or a heartbreak from somewhere else. But I definitely feel like that this is a heartbreak that is um, deeply affecting this person from a prior situation. And I do feel like that this person desires something with you. Okay. I do feel like that this person desires something with you, but I just don't feel like that they're in the state of mind or in the condition to give you what it is that you're seeking here. I do feel like that there is, um, yeah, looky here, I can't make this shit up. Um, the queen of cups to the five of cups in, uh, at the bottom of the deck is really telling me that there is some trust issues um, that this person must address because there are some spilt milks that this person has not made peace with. What is this three of swords? The knight of swords. Yeah, this person, uh, uh, yeah, the tower and the knight of swords. Absolutely, this person moved too fast. Um, there was a sudden change in this person's life, either right before the two of you all met or here recently, okay? Definitely, Ma uh, sudden changes that took place um, for this person, um, either right before the two of you all met or in the midst of the two of you all meeting. Either way, this person had not really addressed the sounds of the music yet, okay? Yeah, this person is still absolutely toxically attached to a situation that possibly does bring them some sort of pain. You know what I'm saying? Like it hurts them and they could be seeking some sort of toxic um, yeah, this person has to, this, this person has to detach from this toxicity. And even though this person may be in the awareness that they have to detach from that toxicity, it doesn't mean that they don't have healing to do in the process. What's up? What's good? What's going on, y'all? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And whatever is ending, I'm going to be honest with you, whatever is ending, like this has definitely been something that they considered wish fulfillment, okay? So how they uh, feel about my Sagittarian Ninth House Collective is the Four of Wands. Can you please elaborate? The Five of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Magician. Um, this person definitely deems you as something worth, like a breath of fresh air, okay? I definitely feel like that this person deems you as a breath of fresh air. However, with the Five of Swords coming out, the situation is there is some sort of self-sabotaging that has taken place as it pertains to the partnership between you and this person. And there is some awareness to this. And I do feel like that um, 
with the magician coming out, I, I kind of, I, this person may feel like that they kind of sabotaged the opportunity to have a relationship with you because of this third party energy that they have created, this third party fog that is looming over this connection here. I do feel like that in order to make, this person feels like that in order to make an offer to you, there is some sort of justice system. There is some sort of justice that needs to take place. Like someone has to allow some sort of justice procedures, proceedings to take place in order for um, them to be able to walk away from it here in this red cloak, okay? Um, how they view you is the empress energy. So they definitely deem you as the empress. They could view you as someone that's um, older than them, more mature, doesn't necessarily have to be. They just deem you as very nurturing, kind, gentle. That You could love nature. I just heard down to earth. Um. We have the nine of swords that's coming out here. We do have temperance here. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, there's something about how this person views you when they're in your presence. There is something about their, like, I don't know. Um, I mean, you may give this person a headache from time to time, but I do feel like that there is something about their mental state that just seems to be able to slow down in the presence of you but that doesn't mean that you don't create chaos for this person as it pertains to you two when you're not on the same level or on the same page what does this nine of swords mean the seven of cups The high priestess. I do feel like that this, um, th there is some, I will say that you do keep this person on their toes. Like you, like, I don't know, they just quite never know what they're going to get from you. Yeah. And that actually scares this person, if I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, that actually makes this person nervous. Because it could remind them of something that they are walking away from. And it actually could trigger some sort of low self-esteem inside of this person. Show me the page of cups. I mean, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, the Knight of Cups is clarified by the King of Cups. So this person does, so it triggers some sort of low self-esteem inside of this person. Because it is reminding, like, I'm going to be honest with you. There's something in this person's past that they're walking away from that they considered wish fulfillment. But the reason that they didn't get it is because it, it's like, in their opinion, they stopped meeting the expectations of someone else. So whatever's going on with this person viewing you as the empress, there is some sort of confusion like they never know what to get from you. It makes this person feel on edge and triggered because it makes them feel like that they're, they're not going to be able to meet your expectations. And that's kind of what has happened in the situation that has just broken this person's heart that they're walking away from. And it's not so much what you're saying. It is the way that you're behaving. It's the way it's what they're it's the way that their mind is working based off of what they see off of the actions from you. And so this person is trying to be diplomatic and offering you something. But I'm going to tell you, in this person's thought spaces about you, baby, this person loves the fuck out of you. The Knight of Cups is in their thought space. What are those thoughts about? The King of Cups to the Two of Cups. This person wants a relationship. They do desire to elevate and mature. To like, They feel like there's something about needing to evolve emotionally in order to meet at your level.
Yeah, temperance. I'm telling you, this person's got a lot of love for you, Sag. But unfortunately, I've got the hangman for where this is, which what is the next thing that you need to know about this situation is the hangman. There's something that this person is either surrendering or this person is in a situation in life where they're not able to make forward movement towards you until they surrender the emotions of this previous situations. Let's clarify. Yeah, the four of cups, there could be a missed opportunity. The ace of wands. Oh, the ten of cups. So I will say this. Um, this person has to surrender. What you need to know, this person must surrender this apathy for this previous situation in order for the spark to be reignited here in this situation. Yeah, the nine of pentacles, because this person must find a place of independence. Like this person, this person has to establish a place, a, a piece of independent, a, a place of independence internally. And I feel like in the material world as well. Yes. So there could be a divorce that this person needs to go through. There's definitely some sort of separation and or severance of ties that needs to take place. In order for it to be an equal give and take. So I feel like that forward movement may be stalled here until this happens. Yeah, because there's too much conflict and strife around it. I stopped it at 1707. Somebody's gotten themselves kind of wrapped up in a situation that is really no good for you in this present time because they have to close something up. So trying to force this, I do feel like it's going to create some sort of chaos and contingency around you. Okay. And that's the direct message um, about this situation here. Okay. Let's see, Spirit, close this out with a message of love, please. And I kind of feel like that there's no need in like being, I just feel like that there's some internal reflecting that this person is going to go through. And I feel like that it is in your best interest to utilize this time to do your self-reflecting as well. With the mirror coming out here, I feel like that there's some self-reflecting and introspection for the two of you all to do, but that's most definitely what this per that's what you need to know about this person is that they have to go through a period of introspection and healing after some sort of separation that did cause some sort of heartbreak. This person is grieving that still. Shit, baby, what you need to know is that there is a new love that is trying to show face for you. Okay. There is a, uh, is shit. I need a major arcana. Is this a new chapter with the person on this table? A minor arcana if it's a new chapter with someone else. There is a new chapter with this person that will be presenting itself and it's going to present itself unexpectedly. And it is going to present itself unexpectedly. This new love card, it says a new chapter begins, whether it is with a new partner or in a, in a current relationship, okay? There is a new chapter that is developing unexpectedly within the dynamic of this situation here, okay? Um, but in order for you to be able to gain the benefit of it, there's work that must be done for this person and there's a need to not, it's a need for you not to focus so much on that because there's work for you to gain, to do so that you're ready and open to receive this when it does arrive. <clears throat> I 
at the bottom of the deck, we do have express your love. It is important to let people know that you love them and you have nothing to lose. You and this person have probably, it looks like have experienced past lives together. So, can you tell me anything about this sudden new chapter? Can you tell me anything? What are you, what is Sagittarius allowed to know about this sudden new chapter? The moon card spirit's not oops spirit is not going to let me it's in spirit just wants you to know that it is with the three of wands it is incoming it is incoming but spirit does not want to lift the veil on this yet. I, I, spirit says do the work. All you need to know is that it's coming so that you can do the work. And that's, oh, wow. And that's the truth. And that's the truth. And you want to take a guess what's behind that? The Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is all about self-mastery. So I definitely want you to know that there is some sort of incoming clarification, some sort of incoming truth. There is going to be some sort of expression from this person that is coming in. And what you and that's all you need to know. But there is some work that you need to, that spirit is asking you to do in order to be open and receptive to receive this. Now, instead of pulling an expression directly from any of those, what I want to do, because there is clear indications that there is a blockage that my Sagittarius needs to work through in order for this to arrive, okay? So what I want to do is have you guys pick a pal one through three, and I want to pull a blockage card for what you can work on at this time, okay? So I'm going to pause while I pull those cards out. All right, so let's jump straight in. Let's look at the blockage. I have three decks, okay? Let's look at the blockage for those that have chosen PAL 1. What is the blockage for those that have chosen PAL 1? Thank you. What is the blockage for those that have chosen PAL 1? What is the blockage for those that have chosen PAL 1? Oh, wow. There we go. Okay. What is the blockage for those that have chosen PAL 1? I just heard clear courts, so you might need clear courts, okay? So what we have is as the actual blockage is too passive, okay? Too passive. This card reads, it says, take initiative to meet someone and to keep the uh, to keep the passion ignited. So pal one, spirit is asking you to really work on your confidence so that you feel more confident and kind of like taking the lead instead of taking the back seat of things and allowing other people to guide you in the right direction. Because I feel like that that is ultimately not getting you your outcome and that is getting you triggered. You have a trigger message. And it says, when I am angry, my immediate response is to get even. So what this is telling me is that you're too passive about what it is that you're wanting. And so when you don't get what it is that you're wanting, you become triggered, you become upset and angry, and then you decide to get even. And in reality, I don't think that people are necessary. I just, you're not really going after what you want and you're taking the feeling of it out on other people. So spirit is saying, just surrender to passion, okay? And it says, get out of your head. And feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and flow with it. So just allow yourself to naturally be, be authentic and go like just roll with the feelings. And the, the price that um, that you pay when you roll with your feelings is understanding that it may come with some consequences and, and it may come with some kickback. And, and not all kickback is good kickback. But understanding that I'm going to learn from it one way or another. So indulge in your passions, okay? Power one. I'm out of water, y'all. Power two. If you chose power two, what is the blockage for those that have chosen power two? What is the blockage for those that have chosen power two? Thank you, spirit. What is the blockage 
for those that have chosen how to. Too many guys, I, I'm trying to concise these. Spirit, can you please give me a concise message for the blockage for those that have chosen how to. Thank you. What is the blockage for those that have chose how to? What is the blockage for those that have chosen how to? Thank you. Okay. So for those of you all that have chosen how to, what's going on, the way I see is the blockage and what spirit is asking you to address during this season is not being talkative. So I have someone that is not really communicating their needs when the time is, when the opportunity to present your needs and to communicate about what is going on to discuss how you feel clearly and concisely without the uproar, I have someone in POW2 that is not taking advantage of those opportunities. And then what is happening is there's a blow up because there's a blow up. It's like, oh, I'm just going to put it off. I'm just going to put it off. They'll get it. They'll get it. They'll get it. And then when they're not getting it, there's someone is be, is blowing up and then coming very demanding and very my way or the highway, not really having a lot of wiggle room or becoming understanding to where other people are coming from because you feel that you have given unspoken chance after chance after chance. Yet I feel like that because you're not communicating this clearly and concisely without being in fits and rages, I don't feel like that this person is fully understanding what it is that you're demanding. It says, when displayed, when displayed, you are most likely making other people feel inferior. Check the anxiety level, the depression and anxiety level. So I definitely feel like that um, you kind of, uh, whoever I'm speaking to in PAL2 kind of chooses to hold your words and hold hold back in an effort to keep the peace until there is no more peace to be kept. And then you're blowing up. And that is creating an out of balance situation inside of this scenario, okay? For those that have chosen PAL3, for those that have chosen PAL3, what is the blockage for those that have chosen PAL3? And remember guys, the only reason that I'm pulling this message is because there's a clear message in this right here. You're getting a direct message about a particular person. This is an almost personal. They're on their way back around. There is going to be some sort of comp conversation that is going to be had between the two of you all. I do feel like that you and this person are both mirroring each other, whereas there is some sort of introspection that needs to take place in preparation for this conversation. That's the only reason why I'm pulling what your blockage is in this message. Yes, I understand that this person has their own things that they've got to deal with and they have their own truths to speak because there is a confession that is coming in here, okay? They have their own truths to speak, but in order for you to receive the truths that this person has to speak without it throwing you off your rocker, there are some blockages to address that so that you have room for this, for you to process this. So those of you all that have chosen how three, It says, um, losing yourself. What is the blockage for those that have chosen PAL 3? What is the blockage for those that have chosen PAL 3? What is the blockage for those that have chosen PAL3? Thank you, Spirit. 
So I feel like that for those that have chosen PAL3, I do feel like that there is a fear of change. And I also feel like that there is a fear of intimacy as well. I feel like that, um, I feel like that PAL3, this is a situation, I do feel like that if you chose PAL3, this would be a newer situation, like a newer, newer situation after a long time of healing from a prior horrible situation, okay? And I feel like that there was fear of intimacy that was developed out of that previous situation. And I feel like that there is also a fear of losing yourself again because of how much you felt lost inside of that previous connection. So I do feel like that the blockage the spirit is asking you to address is how you re how you kind of are handling this person from a long handled spoon. I do feel like that um, dealing with this person, if you chose pal three from a long handled spoon, kind of caused this part. Not let me not say it that way. The results of that was this person kind of indulging in a past situation again. And I do feel like that this person is coming to express this truth that they indulged in a past situation again, okay? I do feel like that the, the what made room for this person to indulge that again was because of how you procrastinate on letting someone in. But I do feel like that you actually desire to get to know this person. I feel like that you're going to get the opportunity to get to know this person. But you first must address the internal issues that cause you to keep people at bay because people are allowed to react and have a feeling at being fed from a long handled spoon. Even though you may justify it, it doesn't mean that they are not allowed to have a reaction to it. Okay. All right, y'all. So let me give y'all some loving medicine to close that out. Ooh, almost dropped. Let me give you some loving medicine to close that out. Thank you, spirit. Divinity. I know my true identity. I know my true identity. May I always remember my true identity, unlimited love and light. Let me know myself as pure consciousness. Wake me from the sleepwalk of believing I am only human. All right, family, I absolutely love you. And I hope that you were able to find the guidance that your soul was seeking in this message. If so, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. Peace, love and light, guys.